Uh, let's go ahead and get started, and we will start with Andrew Greif. Hey, Ty. Uh, obviously, uh, not, not an easy game today. What did you make of just the way, um, first of all, Reggie Jackson came in the second half, uh, replacing Pat, and how you guys grinded it out? Yeah, I thought Reggie was great. You know, just like Pat, Pat just being a professional and, you know, staying ready. And um, he came in, I think he had 10 points in that third quarter, which was huge for us. Um, so um, hats off to Reggie for that. Um, I thought our bigs were phenomenal. I thought Serge and Zoo, you know, were really good, especially on the night tonight when we couldn't make shots. You know, we still had 26 assists, but, you know, we couldn't make shots. We had a lot of open shots that we didn't make. And uh, I like how we just stayed with our defense, kept grinding, getting stops, and only having 10 turns a night as well. So um, on a night where you're not making shots, this was a good, you know, tough, ground out win for us. In that fourth quarter there, Paul was on the bench for the last, I think, 431. Was he, was that related to him being Nick? I benched him. I'm sorry, what was I that? I benched him. <laughs> No, I'm just messing around. <laughs> no, he had, he had some tightness going into the game um, tonight. So, he, you know, he got loose and he played, but he had some tightness going into the game. And then at last four and a half, five minutes, he just kind of say, you know, he felt tight. He tightened up again. So we just got him out to be cautious. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You can go ahead. Hey, Ty, uh, congrats on the win. A um, couple of things real quick. Uh, can you elaborate on the tightness that Paul was dealing with? Um, just his hamstring. Okay. Um, and second, uh, Kawhi was great tonight. Um, not tonight. I mean, son's still out, but he was great today. And um, he was really great two weeks ago in a similar spot in the matinee game where the rest of the team was relatively uneven. But especially in that third quarter two weeks ago, it was, it was Kawhi kind of carrying the team today. It was through different parts of the game. How how are you observing Kawhi getting ready for these particular time games? Um, as you know, now it's a seven game win streak, and he's played really well on both ends of this win streak. Um, well, he's been he's been phenomenal for us, and tonight, you know, we had to ride him, like you said, um, outside of our two bigs with Zoo and and um, and Serge. You know, Kawhi had it going, so we kind of you know we played through him a lot, especially in that second half. And he, he created points for himself and he created points for our team as well. So we had to ride him pretty hard just to, um, you know, just so we can continue to keep the lead and, and, and play through him a lot. So um, he did a good job with that. Thanks, Law. We'll go over to Farbad. Hey, Ty. Um, this is about like the third straight game now. We've seen Zoo really find himself again. He had a double-double off the bench. What have you seen different from him in these last couple of games than you saw earlier in the season? Um, just owning his space, you know, being more aggressive. Um, like I said, rebounding the basketball. You know, just being the force inside, blocking shots, um, verticality at the rim. So, um, you know, just it's, it's going to take some getting used to. We knew that for him coming off the bench. But, you know, like I said, the last three or four games, he's been phenomenal. So we want to continue just to keep, you know, having him play better and better each night. Thanks, Farbod. We'll go over to Shane Young. Hey, Ty. Congrats on the win. Uh, is this the best you've seen Kawhi look? I know you, you were there last year and you've observed from afar, but is this the best you've seen him look? And particularly when you get him in the cross screen action for a post up, do you think he's surveying the floor better than he ever has in that, you know, in that mid post area? Yes, he is. You know, um, we get him, get into him in the mid post and, you know, he's reading the defense. If they come, then he's making the right pass and the right play. If they don't, then he's, you know, taking his man one on one and creating, you know, creating something for us offensively, the two free throws or a basket. So um, usually we come out of timeouts when teams make a run. You know, that's been our thing, just coming to him in the post and uh, for him to make something happen. He's been doing it for us. Thanks. Go over to Miriam. Hey, Ty. Um, wanted if you had any update on Pat Bev, and then also wanted to just ask you, I mean, obviously you guys have been shooting so crazy hot for so long. Was it something OKC okay, so did, or is it just you guys, you know, not hitting at the rate you were hitting? I mean, we, we had a lot of open shots. I mean, you know, a lot of open shots. So I have to go back and watch it. But uh, we were doing the same thing, you know, moving the basketball, was getting open shots, and that we just didn't make. And it was good to see that, you know, we weren't making shots, but we continued to keep defending. And, um, you know, was able to hold them off, you know, with our defense because our offense wasn't really going tonight. So um, we got the same shots we've been getting, um, great looks, and we just didn't knock them down. So, like I said, it's just good to see us keep competing when we wasn't making shots. And is there any any news on Pat? Uh, no, ma'am, not yet. I, didn't, I haven't had a chance to talk to anybody. 
Thanks, Mayor. We'll go over to Joe Barton. Hey, man. Um, a little bit off topic, but the Bucks Buccaneers just uh, won. They beat the Packers uh, going to the Super Bowl. And, and somebody who likes football and has been to a couple finals himself and knows a guy who's been to 10 finals, what do you make of, of uh, Tom Brady and, and getting to 10 straight – or not 10 straight, but 10, 10 Super Bowls? I mean, just greatness. Um, just shows, you know, who he is as a quarterback, as a person. You know, he left New England, and, you know, people say he couldn't do it not under, under Belichick. And um, here he is again, you know. So, um, you know, he's one of the greatest of all time. So, you know, what can you say? You, you kind of, you know, you, you kind of grow to respect it, you know, after so long of just him being in the Super Bowl and winning, and um, that's who Tom Brady is. Thanks. Thanks. We'll go over to uh, Justin Russo. Hey, coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, Zubats played, I believe, the like basically the final 15 minutes of the second half in the game. Uh, what went into that decision to actually give him that long of a stint? Well, he was playing great, and um, I thought you know the threshold was kind of was good for him because I think you know going back with Serge at such a late time was was. Um, you know, kind of be tough on Serge, you know, to try to get going again. So um, Zoo was playing well. He was dominating the paint. He was rebounding the basketball, uh, finishing around the basket. So um, instead of trying to bring Serge back the last four and a half, five minutes, I just, you know, decided to roll with Zoo um, because he was already loose and to try to get Serge going again. It had been tough. Thanks, Ty. That's all the time we got for you. Thank you. I'm glad. Take care. Have a